one two three and we are back what's up you guys it's your girl lm hunt and today i'm gonna do a get ready with me and i'm also gonna talk about um the reason i moved to houston texas so let's get into this video if you want us to have a slight look and get a little insight on my life and my move So first thing I do guys when I do my makeup is my eyebrows and anything in regards to my makeup I've learned from this is just backwards because of the camera but whatever I've learned from my two friends who are makeup artists because um at first I wasn't really into makeup but once I got a little better at it I was able to better understand you know so you guys i tried to do my eyebrows on camera at first and it looked a mess so i had to stop the video and do my eyebrows and now i'm actually gonna start talking about my move to texas so once I graduated college, I knew I wanted to move to Atlanta. And you guys, I'm like wiping witch hazel on my face. It's a very good product and it kind of lightens up your skin. It's very clean. And I spray rose water on my face as well. So I just let this dry. And I need to get my Vaseline. So my lips won't be chapped. So I have that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my foundation since my eyebrows are already done. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, um, I graduated college and I wanted to move to Atlanta, but I didn't have the means to do so or a job, you know? So I'm like, how you gonna move somewhere you don't have no job or nothing? So my mom was like, come home, you'll save money and all that good stuff. So I was like, okay, we'll see. So I decided to go home back to Florida. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County. Yes, ma'am, period. So um, I decided to go back to Florida and be with my mom and see how that was going to be. So when I first got to Florida, I was working at a eyeglass store back in Georgia so what I did was just transfer my job over so that was pretty easy and so I was working there but I felt like I wasn't making enough money so I found a job at a bank but it was a call center and I worked overnight so you guys I worked from 10 30 at night to 7 in the morning when I tell you that was a literal life-changing experience like but Everybody who was there was fun, and I met some nice people and good friends from that job. So overall, it was a good experience. So um, I did that for a year, but as I was sitting there, I did not like, I did not like what I did at all. And uh, mind you, I went to school for communications and I was just like, this isn't me. Like, people yelling at me on the phone like I'm incompetent. Like, this call center attitude, I can't. Like, every day I'm going to work, hello, how can I help you? Like, what do you want? And I felt like that was wrong. And it, and it was overnight as well. So, I was just kind of annoyed. And I really didn't want to be home. I wanted to, you know, live my own life, explore, like, see something different. And that's just me. You know, a lot of people um, don't like to try new things or explore new things. That's definitely not me. I like to travel. I don't have to like have a lot of people around or whatever. I, as I was at work, I started to try to figure out a plan of how I was gonna move. So I'm like, what are you gonna do? Like, how are you gonna do this? Like, even if you save up money, you gotta find a job. Like, are you just gonna go somewhere move and work or what are you gonna do? Y'all out of concealer, so I'm just gonna cut the top. And dig in there, it's still some good concealer in there. Um, so at work, I started looking up grad schools. Not that I wanted to go back to school, but 
um when you go to school you'll be able to get a refund and why not just go get a second degree you know they say black women just always like oh i'm bored let's go get a degree we're the most educated people we'll go to school we'll take the risk and i love that shout out to us black girl magic yes ma'am so i was like i'm gonna go and get my master's so i i always wanted to move to texas and i stumbled across um texas southern university which was in houston texas and a hbcu because i went to hbcu and i just feel like that's important to be around my people and my culture period and especially in today's society and everything that's going on so um i found texas southern university and they had a master's in communications program um and i liked what i saw so i got my things together I had to get recommendation letters together my transcripts from my old school um and different things like that so i started reaching out to people got all my stuff together and um applied for the school then I went and did my financial aid as well. So I know that I would, you know, have aid essentially. So after I did that, oh, come on, skin. Um, after I did that, it was a waiting game. So not only was I just waiting to see like, was I gonna get accepted into school? I also had to find a job because, you know, student loans don't pay the bills. So I was like, what should I do? So I started applying like everywhere, like Indeed, but I really feel like Indeed don't work y'all. Like, honestly, I've applied to so many jobs on Indeed and I don't think I've ever really had an interview from any of them, like, weird. Didn't get anything and so my next step was you know what can i do and then i started thinking i was like oh i can apply at the school district um work with kids you know and i've worked with kids before um but i wouldn't say i have the most patience like i'm not a very patient person like whatsoever um so everybody was like how are you gonna be a teacher i'm like child i don't know but we'll see so I applied or whatever, and the next day a principal called and wanted to um, set up a FaceTime interview because I was still in Florida. And I was like, okay, cool, let's do that. So the next day I got on the FaceTime call and y'all, Skype and FaceTime interviews are so funny because like your business on top and regular on bottom. Like I had on a sweater and a button down shirt with some pajama pants, ridiculous. But needless to say, your girl got the job, period. So after I did that, I was like, I got a job. I had got my acceptance letters from school. At that point, you going um, to school. So at this point, girl, like, you a H-Town hottie. But I still had to save up some money and figure out where I was going to live. So, so I ended up going to this pageant. Yes, I used to do pageants. Um, so I ended up meeting a young lady at a pageant who already lived in Houston. And she was saying how it, it was expensive. And I was like, oh, well, I'm trying to move to Houston. Are you looking for a roommate? And she was like, I wouldn't be against that. So when I got back home, you know, I ended up writing her and we exchanged information and from there we just started looking at apartments i would google them while i was at work and she would go visit them since she was physically here um so that's how i found a roommate oh i put a lot it'll be okay you just gotta learn and blend baby okay blend please don't be having your face looking all types of powder and mind y'all I am not a makeup artist. I know how to do my own makeup. And anytime I do somebody else's makeup, they kind of look like me. So I just do a quick little something. Don't go try to write this stuff down and be like, oh, let me do this makeup because that's not the case. 
after we found someone we applied to, we applied for it got approved and everything and everything was good to go mind you guys i had never visited houston where was i y'all somebody crying outside somebody cheering um where was i do 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 Oh, so we found a place and we got approved. So I was like, you, you know, everything is going great for this move. So that's how I knew I was doing what I was supposed to be doing and going in the right direction in life. You know, like it's not falling apart. Everything's falling into place nicely. So the time came around for me to leave. So I had a little dinner with some of my family and friends before I left. Mind you guys, I'm just doing a blush color on my eyes, nothing special. Um, before I left and my farewell. So off to Texas, I went. That drive, you guys, was insane. Like I think it was like 14 hours, 12 hours, something like that. And Texas was a time change. Oh, I think, and like I had said before, I had, I have never, I had never been to Houston besides um, one. So I moved in August. So in April, me and my friend came out to Houston just to like sightsee and get a look at the school. But it was Easter weekend, y'all. And I didn't even realize that. So the school was closed. So we just, um, you know, went to the club and did some stuff because that was definitely when quarantine, when we weren't in quarantine. So I did that. Okay, I'm feeling these blush eyes, period. From there, I was like, I love Houston. Mind you, I ain't seen the school, I ain't did nothing I was supposed to do. But I'm out partying, having a good time. So I was like, this is city for me. So... The weekend before I was moving into my apartment, like actually living here, me and my mom came down um, to finalize everything, mind you, to look at the apartment and to make sure everything was good for school, my financial aid, um, making sure I was in the right classes, meeting my advisors, things of that nature. And so, um, came the weekend before and did that. Um, so you guys, oh, I wanted to show you guys something so, so, so cute. Um, so I have lashes, wink with nine. Mind you, uh, this is a company from back home, Jacksonville, Florida. So she has mink lashes. They are so cute. What this is, this is a, um, mirror. So what this is, is a eyelash mirror and it lights up and it comes with a little charger. Super, super, super cute. And I love the lashes. She gave me a longer pair and a short pair. I'm not really sure of the name of them, but I am definitely going to put that link in my bio as well. So she sent me two lashes, you guys, a short pair and a longer pair the cute little mirror, and also a little clamp to help you put your lashes on. So everything was well organized. Everything was well put together. You go, girl. And I love these lashes. And actually, I wore them sometime before, and I had got drunk and put my lashes in my purse, and it was all squished everything, and I was scared that they were going to be messed up. But I shook them a little bit, and they was good to go. So I was like, come on for the good lashes. So definitely go check her out. I just looked at the apartment. Everything was good to go. So I moved that next week. I had a cute little intimate dinner with some of my close family and friends before I left, which was awesome Um, because I didn't know when the next time that I was coming home. Definitely because like people know me. Once I go somewhere, I don't really be trying to come back home. And then again, like it's far, period. And I'm not taking no drive. So, definitely, 
um, did that with my family and was so grateful for everyone who came as well. Um, so the big move. So the day I had to drive, well, let me not lie. Cause I didn't even drive. My god brother did. Shout out to him. I uh, love you so much. Um, people say I'm spoiled because I was supposed to do half. We were supposed to do half and half, but he told me he just wanted to take a two hour nap and that he was going to do everything. So great. I'm, who finna argue with that? Your girl's not finna argue with that. So my god brother is the one who actually drove most of the way here um in my car so my car could get here so that 14 hour drive y'all it was so draining we stopped to Popeye's though in Louisiana because I was like I heard Popeye's better in Louisiana um it actually was not but they were saying it was better in um New Orleans but we didn't go through New Orleans so we just went to some little small town in Louisiana and tried a Popeye's and it was pretty regular. Y'all, this mirror is so convenient. Um, so like I was saying, we sat to Popeye's. It was something pretty irregular, but it was cool experience because that's what I wanted to experience, you know? So, uh, um, we finally got here at nighttime. It was exhausting. Um, so I had to go um, the next day. My my family probably stayed for like two days after we did stuff like go to rooms to go, you know, clean the apartment, help me set up and everything. And then they left me here. You know, I was pretty excited, but in general, you know, I was thinking about missing some of my family and friends, like always, of course. But I was ready to start fresh. So I was here for two weeks, not really doing too much. And then my job started. Um, you guys are working at the, working in the school system with middle school age kids, they are a lot. It's like, they think they are so grown. And I was like, I used to be bad in middle school too, but... I wish somebody would have told, I mean, somebody did tell me to sit my behind down, but it's just like, now I see, like, I was just doing a lot, like, being extra for nothing. Like, everybody want attention. Everybody want to be right. It's just so much. But they kids, you know, you got to live them. You teach them lessons and everything, and you move forward. So, um, teaching definitely taught me a lot, even though it's something I thought I would never do, you guys, like never because like I said my patience is a wee bit of thin and I guess that has helped as also having a puppy has helped with my patience because y'all know Asher is hoo hoo cuckoo -coo for Cocoa Puffs so um he definitely I definitely have to be patient with my little puppy so all in all I can say the move here was something that I needed to do. It was something that, you know, um, was a benefit in my life. It's taught me a lot being here on my own, like just how to be a responsible adult, how to meet other people, how to just, you know, be on your own in general. And I can say, I feel like I'm doing a daggone good job. You hear me? Like for real, for real. See, this one kind of difficult because I'm right-handed, but um, yeah, so I, at this point in my life, I'm just grateful for all the opportunities I've been given. Um, everybody who has helped me along the way. Just thanking God for placing people and things in my life for me to be successful, you know, basically. So... That was everything. Um, so the move was great and everything. Um, the only thing about the year 2020 has been, you know, this pandemic and everything. And once I moved out here, um, I was very enlightened with myself and like the situations that I had been going through and the people that I had continued to let 
you know, in my life when all honesty, I knew they should have been left or I should have been let it go. Like my girl Summer Walker said, but you know, it all takes time. So when I did that and really got to my full potential, well, I wouldn't even say I'm in my full potential yet. Like I'm almost there, like not even almost there because I always need to work on myself, but I feel like I'm getting to that woman I need to be, you guys. And that is, that is just great, amazing, actually. So, so it was just a blessing to be here besides you know corona and being away from people but like i said it got me to the woman that i am on the verge of loving and being and you know just this independent boss girl who don't need nobody you know but you always gonna need somebody but you know just to know that you can do it um it's a great feeling so yeah, that's how your girl been feeling. And I just want to, you know, tell a little bit about myself on my channel because I haven't done so. Um, and people wanted me to um, show how I do my makeup as well. So I was like, why not do a get ready with me and, you know, answer a few things for some folks. So what I would recommend when you're moving, you know, like make sure you're moving for the right reasons. Don't just be doing stuff. Like I was moving to become a better person, you know, to have a better life for me and my family and things like that. So that's why I moved. Definitely um, it's going to make you love yourself even more because, you know, that's really all you're going to have. It's going to make you appreciate things that you didn't appreciate. Uh, and overall, like, it's just a, it's just a eye-opening adult experience, you know? So, I am very glad I did that. Um, so you guys, I'm about to do my hair and I'm going to come back and I'm going to be slate. Okay, y'all, so I am back with the finished product. Hair is done. Lips on for my makeup. And like I keep telling y'all, these flat iron curls I be doing is bomb, okay? Period. And this is the same hair that I got from Forever Beauty, so definitely go check them out. Um, definitely... The move was great. I'm really happy that I took this leap out on faith and moved here. I'm about to graduate out of my master's program. I still have my job as a teacher. I am doing my YouTube stuff now. Why is this white? Oh, this makeup. Um, I'm doing my YouTube stuff now, and I got a special project coming real soon next week for you guys. So please just stay tuned for your girl. Like... I'm really just happy um, at the place that I am at and loving who I am and the people around me and the people who support me, who love me. I thank you so much. And definitely during these trying times, take time to love yourself and love others because tomorrow is not promised and every day can be a struggle for some people because you never know what they might go be going through. So definitely call, check on people, check on the ones you love, even pray for the ones you don't. I always pray for my enemies as well as my family and my friends in my prayers because everybody you know needs healing in god period so with that being said i appreciate you guys so much i hope you liked my get ready with me when i tell y'all i feel like i did better doing my makeup in the camera than i do in the mirror so yeah thanks for watching your girl until next time i'll see you later